So I've just picked quite my son up from school, witnessed a bullying episode, rang the principal, and I want people to know, parents, educators, teachers, this is the effect that Give bullying me a has. I'm gonna do it though. This is what bullying does. So can you please educate your children, your families, your friends? Because all it takes is for one more instant and you wonder why kids are killing themselves. Give me a right now. I'm freaking stab myself with an art. You watch me. Even you do, Carolyn, I'm looking at you. You don't even do anything. And Mrs. George got me the dumbest kid in the class. I didn't want to die right now. I didn't want to bang my head into a block. I want someone to kill me. And you have me. And this is the impact bullying has on a nine-year-old kid that just wants to go to school, get an education and have fun. But every single freaking day, something happens, another episode, another bullying, another taunt, another name calling. So is there any advice or support or anything that other parents or, you know, families have done to help raise disability awareness and education within the school so that this doesn't happen? I've got some good advice, but I need more because this is the effect of bullying. This is what it's doing. And I want people to know how much it is hurting us as a family. I want people to educate their children. The whole anti-bullying shit isn't working. And I've got a son that is suicidal almost every single day. Every time there's a triggering... Anything that happens at school or in public, which is almost every time we're in public and we're about to head into a shopping centre now. And I wish that I could record everything that every instant when we're in public or have a hidden camera so that people could see. And this is the side that I don't choose to share. I, I choose to keep this private, but we can't do it anymore. We try to be as strong and positive as possible and only share the highlights, but this is how bullying affects a nine-year-old kid. And I've got to constantly keep my eye on him because of the suicide attempts. This is what bullying does, people. I've already called the school of it's been several times. Every time there's a new kid that's not aware of Quaden's condition, it's bullying. So we just went to pick him up and we saw a student patting him on the head and making fun of his height. And I said, do you want me to do something about it? He ran to the car in hysterics because he doesn't want me to make a scene at the school. And God knows I will. Me and his sister were there. And we wanted to do something right there and then, but he wanted to come home. And now we have to deal with this. And I feel like I'm failing as a parent. I feel like the education system's failing. It is bloody hot as hell. And he was just on the basketball court having fun with the Brisbane Bullets. And it's the constant bullying, the name calling, like obviously pointing out his difference. So now we have a very severely suicidal child who is sick of the bullying. That is every single day that he attends school or is in public. It's every single day and we're sick of it. So I just want people to know and see the impact because this could be your child or your child could be the bully that pushes a kid over the edge and God forbid we lose another child to suicide because of the bullying.
So any suggestions or advice would be greatly appreciated. So we're f***ing over dealing with this every single f***ing day of our lives. Anything you want to say before we go? I want to kill you, girl! So the next person that does bully or harass or discriminate against him better watch the f*** out, I'm serious. This ain't no joke no more. You better educate yourselves and your family and friends. Start doing something more in your schools, in your families, in the communities about disability awareness and education because there is not enough, obviously. This should not be happening. This kid is with me 24-7. He lasted first term last year and was with me 24-7. Every single day, every single night, he's with me because of the issues that bullying is causing, the negative public attention, which is why we've chosen to be more private now, but there's no escape in it. This is our reality. This, you know, and it's like we have to get used to it. And I used to tell him, just ignore it. Well, no ignoring it doesn't solve the problem how does that address bullying if you choose to ignore it it needs to be addressed straight away and that's exactly what I'm doing now every time it happens I'll be doing a live video so that people know so hopefully we can make some changes so that this doesn't happen to another family and hopefully we don't lose another young innocent life to bullying <laughs>